P.A. Rody here, coming to you from Chile, or as the locals say, Chile. This town, and it's very charming, is named Porto Varas. That's Porto Varas. V-A-R-A-S. It's a beautiful little place, and it's on the biggest lake in the entire country of Chile. I'm just about to go down and have some dinner, and I'm really hoping that they serve me some chili here in Chile. I mean, heck, the country is named Chile, so I'd think chili should be their national meal. So I'm counting on them to bring, it, to bring me some chili tonight. So you can be seeing on tonight's episode the country of Chile, or Chile, if you're going to be all fancy and talk like the locals. And you're also going to see Peru. And we'll be including Lima and Cusco and Machu Picchu. You are now looking at Portamont, which is only a few miles away from Porto Veras. Portamont was named after famous 1970s game show host Monty Hall. He used to call it Portamonte, but they just wanted it to sound a little classier, so now they call it Portamont. P.A. Rody here, multi-millionaire and philanthropist, coming to you from Santiago, Chile. Santiago is the capital and the largest city here in Chile. Santiago happens to have 5.5 million people. That's five and a half million people that I can take advantage of, and I'm looking forward to it with all the deals I make. Now make sure you don't get Santiago mixed up with San Diego, because there's a big difference between the two of them. San Diego's way, way, way up north, just north of Mexico, but here we are way south of Mexico, way down here in South America. So Santiago is surrounded by huge mountains, including the Andes Mountains rising majestically behind the city. All the uh, Andes peaks are covered in snow, so once again this is one spectacular location. And the city is much more modern and built up than you might imagine. Like I told you earlier, Chile has the strongest economy in South America. And Santiago, the city, definitely shows it. From all those modern buildings out there, has a huge financial district that goes on and on. And uh, with all these lush green hills and the snow-capped Andes, it really is an urban paradise. My luxury hotel suite here in Santiago with my flat screen TV. Pretty nifty, isn't it? This is the view of downtown Santiago from Mel Gibson Hill. Mel Gibson Hill is almost as big as Mel Gibson's massive ego. So as you can see, it's a hell of a great view from up here. The president of Chile lives here in Santiago, but the Congress is in Valparaiso, which you will see in a little while. So it's rather peculiar how the president is here and the Congress is over there on the coast, right on the Pacific Ocean. Maybe the president is hoping a giant tsunami will destroy the Congress, because they're always thwarting the president's plans. By the way, the president of Chile happens to be a woman. Isn't that crazy? Who would have heard of a woman leading a modern country like this? I mean, maybe some Pacific island where they only have 14 people, but a country like Chile? Who would have thought? P.A. Rody here, coming to you from my executive presidential suite at the Plaza Hotel. Now let me tell you something. Santiago was founded in 1541, so it goes way back. And uh, the number one industry here in Chile is copper. It's not Chile. I thought for sure canned Chile would be the number one industry, but it's actually copper. And after copper, it's um, seafood, fish. And after fish, it's uh, timber and then fruits. People love fruit, fresh fruit from Chile. 
Y'all remember Pinochet, the evil dictator that used to be in charge of Chile back in the 1970s or whenever the hell it was? Well, I'm telling you, we Republicans love doing business with evil dictators. It's just such a simple prospect to go on in to a country like Chile. And by the way, there's a head from Easter Island, which I'm taking home to my palatial estate outside of Detroit, Michigan. Anyway, the evil dictators are so simple to do business with because they let you get away with murder because they love watching their citizens get slaughtered and enslaved and they get a high off that kind of torture and torment the way George Bush and Dick Cheney and I all do. Anyway, you're looking at Valparaiso right now, which is where the Congress is, as I mentioned earlier. So this is a, a political city as well as a very historic, lovely place on the coast, one hour by car or truck or motorcycle from Santiago. Now, you can see uh, how densely built up Valparaiso is with the neighborhoods and all the houses have really beautiful colors. One of the symbols of the city is, is how colorful all the houses are on these steep hills. 80% of the population lives in the neighborhoods on the hillsides. And this is a view from one of those hillsides looking over the harbor. P.A. Roadie here coming to you from our next destination. We're in a whole new country. We are now in Peru, and this is my luxury hotel suite here at the Swiss Hotel. And we're in a, uh, a one of the nicer sections of Lima. Lima is the capital and the largest city of Peru. And you've got a view of some of the uh, residential towers back there. Lima has approximately 8 million people and it's also located in a desert region. Peru has three regions. You've got the desert coastline, you've got the Andes Mountains, and then you've got the jungle which is around where Machu Picchu is at the beginning of the jungle. So uh, this is the desert coastal area, and the reason why it's, uh, you probably thought all of South America is jungle, but it's not. There are huge sections that are desert, like down in Patagonia, and uh, northern Chile has the driest desert on the planet. That's right, right in Chile. We are now in Cusco. Cusco is way up in the mountains. And it's about uh, a one hour and ten minute flight from Lima. Cusco was the heart and soul of the Incan Empire. This was the capital of the world to the Incans. And the Incans had one huge empire that covered the entire northern section of South America, covering several present day countries like uh, Ecuador, Bolivia, and of course Peru, Colombia, and uh, even Denmark. The city currently has a population of over 400,000 people. And the name Cusco comes from the Incan word Cusco. Cusco meant the navel of the universe. 